hello guys welcome to another video and this time I have another mechanical pencil for you guys and uh, this one here is a little bit different um, I've shown you guys Pentel, Papermate, uh, Stadler, uh, Rotating, um, Bic right and as you guys know I'm a kind of um, a fountain pen kind of user and you know you know that uh, that uh, Lamy makes uh, makes fountain pens one thing I did not know was they also make mechanical pencils and actually they also make rollerball pens as well um, if you guys would like to see me do a kind of review for a Lamy uh, rollerball pen please leave a comment down below and uh, I'll see what I can do for you guys so basically, when I went to my local um, art store, I came across uh, this beauty actually. Um, so one of the reasons I ended up buying this is more because it's Lamy made of course. And if you can tell, it actually has got Lamy written right across here. So this is actually the Lamy Safari mechanical pencil version of it. So it's made all made all out of plastic. It's got this massive clip on it, which is actually works really well. Okay, and um, it's actually got the perforated. It's not really perforated. It's more at an angle where it kind of forces you to hold the pencil the same direction as if you were using a fountain pen. So that's uh, you know kind of uh, kind of neat in a way. That's one of the longest signatures. And when you're holding it, it actually feels pretty natural to me. To me, it does anyway. So it's got this. Uh, the cap comes off, okay. And of course, you get this small little eraser here. And then you actually have to pull on the top of the eraser here to get access. To, uh, to the barrel for the mechanical pencil. Now the only thing that I was pretty shocked is look how small this eraser is and I was actually watching another gentleman's um, YouTube video and according to him once this eraser once this eraser is done you actually have to buy this whole entire piece to replace the eraser I think that's kind of stupid and um, I don't know how much this little piece costs if you can even buy them anymore but if uh, if I do find out how much this little piece costs I'll, I'll add it onto the screen here somewhere if I do manage to find to find the cost of this little piece of this piece here I don't know if my local art store actually sells this piece or not next time I go there I will find out if this piece actually is available through them or not and how much it is we'll see so so you load the lids from the back here this actually has a few lids in here uh, a couple of lids here not a few a couple of lids so let's go ahead and put this back in it's also it has the uh, barrel the clogger as well Actually, all the mechanical pencils that I have been usually using since the beginning of the year, I have not had one clog up on me yet. So, but I guess there is a potential of that actually happening. So it's got a, a decent, a decent clicking mechanism, and uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this feels when you're actually writing with it. So I'll bring this over here, give it a couple of clicks. So if you hold the pencil the wrong way, it actually doesn't feel it doesn't feel natural at all. You kind of have to hold it with the clip kind of facing upwards for the pencil to feel kind of natural. So let's just zoom this in a bit so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and uh, Right, Y on 
box. And this is a 0.5 millimeter lead, which I didn't mention in the beginning of the video. Apparently they all are 0.5, so obviously this one here was for for the the Alvin the Alvin uh, mechanical pencil. The lead uh, was that one was a 0.7. This is a 0.5, so you can kind of tell. <coughs> you can kind of tell the difference in in the line the thickness between the two of them, right? So this one here, obviously the shade. Of this lead is different than this shade over here and unfortunately I don't know what shade it is because it, it doesn't really tell me what shade it is so that's unfortunate but uh, yeah so let's test this eraser out see how well it works um, actually the eraser from the Alvin actually erases slightly better than, uh, than this one here does but it doesn't get dirty either um, if you tend to use the eraser quite a bit I probably would recommend maybe picking up just an ordinary block eraser instead of using this because I don't know how much these little things are going to cost so yeah anyway that's um, I guess that's pretty much it just a little quick um, Comparison. Well, it's not a comparison. A little review of this um, interesting mechanical pencil, which uh, I found. So, yeah, Lamy Safari mechanical pencil. And they also come in different colors as well. I just happened to choose black. Actually, the, that was the only color they actually had there. So, but anyhow, so that's pretty much it for the Lamy Safari mechanical pencil. If you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the rest of my content. Please consider subscribing. And um, until the next time, goodbye.